Okay. Okay. So we'll go ahead and get started. Type of home ownership, renter or owner? Owner. Type of structure, single family detached, multi-unit townhome, multi-unit condo, apartment. Single family detached. All right. Approximate date you moved in? July 1, 2014. All righty. And then have you always lived in Pulaski? No. Where? Well, tell me where your family, um, how your family ended up in Pulaski. Um, grew up in Cochrane, Georgia, mm -hmm. moved to Athens, Georgia, <laughs> uh, and when we moved back to Middle Georgia, my wife's family is from Pulaski County. Oh, okay. So we wound up here. Okay, that's awesome. And so now we're going to go into the type of home. Tell me a little bit about your home. So like, is it a three bedroom, the bedrooms, the bathrooms, the square footage, and the type of roof you have? Uh, three bed, two bath. 2,300 square feet. Okay. Uh, shingle roof. All right. And do you have a rooftop solar for your home? No, we do not. And can you tell me why you do not have the rooftop solar? Did you make that decision um, or was it made for you? So was your house built or was it already built? No, we built the house. And, oh, okay. Um, at the time, the cost of adding solar oh. would have put us way over budget on building. So you did look into mm -hmm. it? Oh, what'd you find out? It was just costly to put it in? and Yeah, it, it, it was going to be too expensive and too long of a return on investment. How long was the return? About 10 years. Oh, and what were you going to get off of the return? Like, what, what was their incentive that they were proposing, I guess, at that time? Do you remember? It, it, there wasn't much. Oh. Um, maybe a 250 or $500 credit on our power bill to have them installed uh -huh. and then um, Georgia Power would of course buy the electricity from us oh. uh, but it would it would have taken about 10 years to to pay off the initial investment it just wasn't something we wanted to do oh and do you remember like estimated cost I guess compared with the solar panels to the regular rooftop was it more expensive it, it was more expensive i don't remember the but it was yeah. way more than yes. what it would normally cost okay oh i did not know that and then if you had the option i know that was back in 14 you did have the option then but if you had the option again in 19 would you put the rooftop solar on your home there would have to be a very good incentive <laughs> to do that Okay, so better incentive now, yes. you think, compared to then. Anything else that would have to entice you to do to think about it? No. Okay. Yeah, there would just have to be a really good, a really good incentive. <laughs> yeah. I understand. I understand. So now I would like for you to look at a USA map right here, and. Uh, you got your pen, so you can check or circle or put an X on the states that you think that they have rooftop solar panels on their home. It doesn't have no right or wrong answer. You just check on the mm -hmm. states. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right. Well, thank you. So you have Mark, Washington, Oregon, California, Nevada, Arizona. We got Colorado. And then you have Virginia and Florida. So can you tell me why you um, checked off those states? So in Colorado, Florida, mm -hmm. and Virginia, I mm -hmm. have seen rooftop solar. Oh, okay. Um, in, at least in an amount that made me go, huh, oh, okay, they've, they've got solar. Mm -hmm. And my assumption would be uh, on the West Coast, Mm -hmm. um, solar's a little more prevalent than it is uh, here in the southeast. Right. Um, so I would simply assume that California, Oregon, Washington, mm -hmm. uh, Nevada, and then uh, I know Arizona, mm -hmm. bright and sunny, I would assume they have a, a fair amount of solar there as well. Okay, that makes sense. And so why do you think the people that you, those states that you checked off there, have it compared to Pulaski County? Um, I know the West Coast has more issues with generating enough power mm -hmm. for their population. Right. Um, so, and, and I know there's a lot more alternative energy uses on the West Coast mm -hmm. than there are, say, in Georgia and uh, in the Southeast. Mm -hmm. um, 
as far as why there's not much in Pulaski County. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of older homes. Okay. And people would have to uh, have to add them, mm-hmm. and I would think a lot of people would be in the situation like me, where mm-hmm. they don't want to accrue that that cost without a really good incentive. Mm-hmm. Um, and alternative energy just doesn't seem to be as prevalent in the southeast as mm-hmm. it is on the west coast. Okay, so now we've looked at the states, and so now we're going to look at the state of Georgia. So in the state of Georgia, I would like for you to check counties um, that you think have rooftop solar. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay. So we got Metro Atlanta. We got Savannah, the coast area, all the way down. And then we have, yeah, that's about, oh, in Athens. Athens. And you got Athens. Okay. So what makes these counties that you have checked off here, um, why would you think they have rooftop solar? Um, so my assumption for the coast would, would just mm-hmm. be, uh, seems like that's the kind of thing you would expect to see along the coast. It would yeah. be more more homes with, with rooftop solar. Um, also, maybe, too, with the last couple of years, the storms that we have had, uh, it seems like that area of the state mm-hmm. is more likely to go longer periods of time without... Uh, the power grid. Yeah. Um, so maybe a little bit of rooftop could help offset some of those issues. Uh, and Athens and Metro Atlanta um, just seem to be a little more forward thinking. Okay. Than the the rest of the state. So I would think um, the prevalence of rooftop solar would be centered in those areas. Okay. Uh, more so than the more rural areas of the state. Okay. So why do these counties? Just like you said here, compared to Pulaski, uh, being larger population, uh-huh. having a larger, having more ideas. Okay, like um, advance in their technology. Not necessarily advances in technology, but being more willing to try those new technologies. Oh, okay. Anything else you'd like to add to that? Mm-hmm. Okay, so what about your, any of your close friends here in the state of Georgia? Do they have solar on their roof? Not that I'm aware of, no. Why do you think they don't? So I would assume for the same reasons that I don't, uh, yeah. not wanting to accrue that, that extra cost. Anything else? No. Okay, anything else you'd like to add? So if if there was a class offered through extension with offering solar panels and information, what would you need to know from that class in order to want to or think even consider it again? I would need to know what kind of cost sharing uh, incentives would be offered. Okay.